scary. The Mississippi River. It's July, and the afternoon is very hot. People here dread this kind of day at this time of year. They brace themselves. Because it is happening again. All afternoon, they've risen out of the water. Mayflies. They invade the city in their millions, in their billions. For the last year, they existed as grubs feeding in the mud at the bottom of the river, building up energy for this one day. At dusk, they take to the air. This is a dance of life and death. There is only one reason to fly, to mate. And this is their only chance. Tomorrow, they will all be dead. They can't even eat. Adult mayflies have no mouth parts. With only enough energy to fly once and mate, they crash onto the water surface, pouring out their cargo of eggs as they die. From this final act comes a stream of new life, a continuing story, unbroken for nearly 400 million years. And in that 400 million years, the biggest problem mayflies have faced is a recent one. Humans have built cities on their river. Cities with bright lights that draw them away from the dance, so that they die without ever laying eggs. The night leaves a scene of devastation. Their bodies litter the roads and bridges and clog up machinery. Less than a day after they emerged from the river, every single mayfly is dead. They had only one reason for living, and many of them failed. It all seems so pointless, even tragic, but each mayfly was just an insect being an insect, its only purpose in life to make more insects, more and more. And all insects are as dedicated to this cause as mayflies. <laughs> 